Now, I get handy little notes mm-hmm. on the bump for each interview. Mm. And on the handy, the, the handy little note for this interview just said, money. <laughs> oh, that's that. Mm. Mm. Now, which one of you was it who had the massive uh, financial win? Uh, that would be me. Uh, <laughs> how did that, how did that, I mean, were you, were you, a, a, a player of lottery and whatnot? Or? Um, so I did a competition. I did uh, I did a comedy competition. It was an OnlyFans comedy competition. Wow. So, I thought um, OnlyFans was just people fiddling with each other. They're branching out. They're, <laughs> they're oh, oh, unless, unless there is something about your show that the, you want to <laughs> share with the viewers. No, the, the, sh- um, the competition I did, there's nothing sexual about it. It was just like, it was like a talent show okay. um, for comedians. And uh, I applied for it back in September last year. And then I just sort of forgot about it for ages. But then they got me to be in the competition. Like they, you know, the, the, they put me through to the final 10 people. And we basically did a reality TV show challenge show. I had no idea it was going to be a reality TV show when I applied. It was just a, it just said comedy competition. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, sure, I've done those before. Yeah. Um, and then uh, in a sort of like shock twist on the final, for, for the, like the live, they doubled the prize money. So initially it was, um, the prize money was £50,000, which is huge. <laughs> and then they doubled it to be £100,000. And, and I won, which is crazy. Wow. <laughs> which, is, which is absolutely mad. Uh, Did um, it change your life? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, it's, 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 a, it's a massive sum. I, um, and it's so funny because I was workshopping the title Money Princess for, for my Edinburgh show before that happened. Right. And I was like, oh, this is, this is cosmic. This is, this is my wealth affirmations coming, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, coming to Wealth fruition. affirmation, what's yeah. that? It's, it's like an affirmation. Um, yeah, for wealth. But for wealth. <laughs> Where you just like, you kind of like, you're trying to draw in money or just trying to be happy with the amount of money you have because that, okay. be, that could be an affirmation. It could be like, I have enough, I have all the money I need. That's an affirmation. Or you could be like, I attract abundance. That's mm. another affirmation. It depends on how okay. I feel that day. Okay. <laughs> you do this affirmation thing too. <laughs> well, no, it's just, I, and I know affirmation's a bit like, like live, laugh, love, but like <laughs> more personalized to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, well done. I'm happy <laughs> for you. That has worked out. Wow. You yeah. won anything recently? Uh, 25 quid on a scratch card that I got nice. for my That's birthday. Nice. Good. I yeah. must have done the money affirmation Way to as go. well. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. I must have had a great affirmation myself. Um, sorry. Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> well, well done. Uh, so, and has it changed everything or improved everything or? I think, I think it has, but it took a while for me to process it. Okay. Because uh, I wasn't allowed to talk about it for quite a while until the show was out. Uh, uh, and I maybe, because I still have money anxiety, a lot of the show that I've been writing is about my money anxiety. And then I won a bunch of money and my relationship towards money mm, yeah. is even more complicated because of the result of, of yeah. that. And so I still have money anxiety. So I think for a while I was trying to convince myself that nothing had changed. Uh-huh. Um, and I'm like, oh yeah, that was, that was a freak accident. That's, that's, uh, that's crazy. But I, but yeah, it's really affirming that I got that much money doing something that I love. Absolutely. Something that I've mm. done for free for several years and still do for free. Uh, um, I still, I still have a day job. I haven't quit my day job or anything. What's the day yeah. job? Um, I work in TV. Um, so I work, I'm like, uh, I'm an assistant development producer, so I work on comedy TV. Oh, cool. So crea- I create it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's important that my, my day job is also creative, but yeah. I've struggled to sort of value comedy as well, because it's sort of like, it's something you, you sneak in, it's something you get, yep. the, the comedy money is bonus mm. money, and it took me a really long yeah. time. To, to place value on it, but then OnlyFans decided yes. that there was a lot of I mean, value that is in it. fantastic, but it's, it's just a kind of a sideline hobby thing. And there's, if you have that get out clause with mm. something that is as creative as writing comedy or not is, then at the back of your mind, you've always got, well, I mean, it's not really my job, is it? 
And if something goes horribly wrong, yeah, you mm. go, well, you know, I haven't really lost anything. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm a very like risk averse person, so having a safety net was really important to me. And because I took a risk to do this competition, because it, it was very last minute, they called me up the day before it started, and um, they wanted me to check into the hotel that night to, to, to do the show. And I had a, a really important industry gig scheduled for the following day that they wanted me to cancel. They're like, you can't do both. And so I had to decide, do oh I do gosh. this industry gig or do I do the show? And I had no idea what the show was going to be. Like, wow. um, so, so a lot of the show is about me kind of, uh, bec- like, I don't know, I guess me coming to, making peace with the fact that like, you have to take risks in life. Mm. Uh, and you can't just play it safe because if I had played it safe I wouldn't have 100k <laughs> no you wouldn't but you would still have a, a perfectly nice job yes. in, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. but that's amazing <laughs> what, oh yes about 25 quid that was yeah thank you that was, has it, <laughs> yeah, has it, has it changed you in any way oh a little bit yes yes I've developed a, quite a large cocaine habit <laughs> ah well yeah. do you feel mm. luckier because people who yeah. feel lucky they like Good things happen to them. I don't know. I don't know. Like I feel like, I feel like uh, um, I don't feel like an unlucky person, but I feel like a lot of bad stuff happens to me. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Oh, that sounds kinda, quite unlucky, to be fair. Yeah, but I don't know if that's like. Yeah, I just, I'm just like, uh, I feel like for me, uh, the the lottery ticket. Oh, this sounds very depressing, doesn't it? No, like, no. not at all. You're making it funny. <laughs> well, I like, just. Um, yeah, you just, you just, uh, luck is a strange thing. Because if I was to look at my life, I'd go, you're quite unlucky in a lot of aspects. But yeah, I quite like my life. I like uh-huh. doing comedy and I like being here. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm very lucky in lots of ways and unlucky in some ways. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. And is that what the show's about? The show is called Soup and it's about... Uh, soup. Soup, yes. Is it about soup? It way? is in some aspects, yes. <laughs> I do, I do talk about soup, the, the product, because yes. uh, I might as well. Um, I just love soup. It's okay. a very specific type. Not Campbell's, are you a Campbell's girl? No, I just, I just think of the Andy Warhol thing. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I was thinking of the actual soup and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I like, um, soup is like the cheapest thing on a menu, like it, to, to bring it to money. And yep. uh, like, uh, I, what I love about, about it is it's like, you know, if you eat quite a lot of soup, it's like an all liquid diet. So if someone ever breaks your jaw, at least you'll never have to change your lifestyle. You know, that's the oh, way I look at it. I'm thinking that's quite a, <laughs> quite a negative way of, of looking at the good thing of soup. Does that look, look does that not do you be make lucky? Soup? I do, I do make soup. Yeah, I, I'm quite positive about that, you know? I can have my jaw broken, but you will not change my lifestyle. That's the way yeah, I am. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I make, I make soup. I like soup. What's your favorite soup? My favorite soup is probably hot and sour, the Chinese mm. one. Oh, that's good stuff. But, but it has to be a really good hot yeah. and sour. My mother was a phenomenal cook, so we always had yeah. uh, we always had homemade soup. Beautiful. So, of course, the first time you get soup out of tin, it's up. Yeah. I know. What is yeah, this? I know the texture and everything is quite... Ah, mm. yeah. oh, it's yeah, yeah. awful. I'm very glad that your mum made your soup. It's quite a oh, nice thing. And my dad, we all... And I, I do... And I, I love, you know, playing with textures and, and yes. tastes and... Yeah. No. My granny used to make soup. Oh, she still does. She's still alive. But, like, um, my cousin and I, she, it, would, it would be varying qualities, this soup would be. Like, sometimes it might be, like, a really nice vegetable soup. Mm-hmm. Or the other time, she'd be cleaning out the fridge, so it's, like, uh, lamb and tuna or something oh, like that. Yeah. Just, uh, oh, no. Quite a combo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the, the land and the sea, you know, should never really Surf combine. and turf. <laughs> exactly. The most horrible surf and turf. Liquid surf and turf. But it's so um, useful. Yeah, for, it is so that. useful. It does. It does um, just fact, tell us when we're boring. You. No, oh, yeah, no. I love <laughs> soup. I like um, the, my favorite soup. Oh, go on. Good. So it comes in a sachet. I like, um, and it's called cock soup, which makes me laugh every time. Oh, Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, because I just like a sort of like, I'm more of a broth. You're mm. a broth, I'm a yeah. broth kind of girly. I love the way that I have taken pictures of that cock soup yeah. mm. in a supermarket. Ooh. <laughs> Hilarious. But I've never I've never been brave enough to try it. I will try it. I it's know. Good. It's, yeah. it's like just chicken soup. Yeah. It's a, is it? Right. What's the what's the 
What's the viscosity like of this cock soup? Well, it sort of depends on how much water you put in it. Okay, so you've got to be hydrated. Mm. Okay, but, but it, it's not. It's fit. Viscous. It will be it's not viscous. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, yeah. cool. And my wow. uh, my dad <laughs> always had this. He had, well, he applied it to various foodstuffs because my mum was a great yes. cook. And, mm. uh, so anything that came in a packet or a tin or a jar, whatever, he would refer to it all as chemicalised filth. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, so any, any kind of... Hardcore, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> any kind of, um, you know, and it was, because you would read the back. It's even... There's no cock in the cock soup. <laughs> uh, hopefully not. I don't know. You don't know what the factory condition is. <laughs> I know. I know. So, so, it's been an accident. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why is it this funny colour? <laughs> um, so you're both doing shows which are, you know, money-based. Well, I think mean, it's interesting because like, me and Mary, I think we both come from a similar background. Mm. And being in the fringe is kind of like... it's. Uh, I've been to the fringe a few times and... The more, the more times I go to the fringe, the more I think about money. And it's your your debut in yeah. this year. Yeah. So like oh. Mary's always been like a strong one of like, I've always liked being around you because you, you're kind of like upfront about money. Yes. And I yeah. find it very hard to be upfront about money. In, in um, what way? Because of shame and stuff. And All like, right. Okay. Yeah. Also, like sometimes you think, oh, that person's like doing so well. How could they dedicate so much time to this craft? And it's like. Because they, they, their they parents have to. an apartment for them, and, you know, so, which is fine. No problem with that. Some of my best mates are rich. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, I look after their cats. It's all good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so was, uh, what I wanted to do with The Fringe this year or this show was kind of talk a little bit about, like, it's, everything is about everything. So it's a bit about the cost of living crisis, a bit about the housing crisis, a bit about a wedding I went to. Mm -hmm. It all combines it. It's a bit about okay. soup as well, you know? Well, I was going to say, like, yeah. like slow it, bringing everything it? into the pot, yes. boil it up for a bit, <laughs> and it's absolutely delicious. That's and it, yeah. It. Let it simmer, you know? So what's the recipe you uh, yeah. uh, for your show, apart from the fact that you're now almost obscenely rich? <laughs> Um, it's about it's about having money anxiety and feeling like because I feel like in myself I can't afford to have a good time because when you're enjoying yourself you're not making money and I'm very much a product of hustle culture. I'm like no we've got to yeah. we've got to work we've got to do this mm. we can't fun is for rich people which is such a wrong way to think yeah. and I, I I fully know that it's wrong but it's hard to escape it absolutely and when you haven't necessarily grown up with money you think about money a lot and. Uh, sort of trying to live up to the life that you want but mm. not enjoying yourself yep. so part of it is about me not taking risks and, and having fun and just working all the time and then also realising that I take risks by doing stand up comedy that's yeah, a risk absolutely. and that's, like, that's something I do purely for joy but because it brings me joy I couldn't put any value on it Yes. Um, yes. And then, and then suddenly, value was put on it, and it's it's messed yeah. with my head a bit. Yeah. Um, Are you having fun now? I'm never. I don't think fun is like a thing that I would do. No, I'm doing. Do you think <laughs> fun is? I've had a bad time. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, no, I am having fun and I do genuinely enjoy my life and there are so many parts of the show which are really silly and ridiculous mm. and I've had so much fun creating it and making fun of myself. I know that I'm a ridiculous person. I'm sort of like, I'm the person who says to my friends, um, what about what about your pension? But then I also I also did a reality TV show on a porn site. Like I know yeah. that, that I'm a ridiculous person. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, I was going to say you do know that bringing a show to the Edinburgh Fringe is one of the fastest routes to not having any money at all. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm mm. aware of it, and and even that because I, I won this money, I was saving up for the fringe before ah. I won this money, and I can do it a lot more comfortably than than I could have done before. But it doesn't mean that my I'm not still like a stingy person yep. in my head. Well, you're not, sti uh, not stingy, stingy, but like, stingy, careful, sensible. yeah, aware. sensible, yeah. Because I'm like, oh, this is a lot of money. Because the fringe, as a business decision, is not. No, <laughs> it's no. not no. smart. It's not. No, smart. it's just not. And I think about things from a slightly more logistical business mindset. And so I'm still a bit like, 
Oh, that's a lot of mm. <laughs> that's a lot of money for a month. Well, I mean, oh, there's yeah. always the Edinburgh Comedy Award. And what? And uh, what does um, that? <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of money. That is. How a lot much of money, money did they give you for that? I didn't even know there was a cash prize for that. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh. I think it's more about the way that I know. It's more about the, the prestigiousness of it yeah. and like the acclaim of winning it. Um, but imagine if someone wanted to make money by going for the Edinburgh Comedy <laughs> Award. <laughs> Imagine that. That would be like the worst they, ever. They should consider treatment. Yeah, yeah, that would be the worst ever episode of Ocean's Eleven I've ever seen. Where it's like, come on, Jimmy, we're going to make an hour long show. We need a director. We need yeah. PR. And then it's like, where's the money? Yeah. So, yeah. are you going to be able to see each other's shows? I'm on a 125. What time are you on? I'm it? on a six. We Ooh. Yeah. Show. 125, it, six. Where are you on? I'm on the Monkey Barrel, which uh-huh. I'm very excited about and I love. And uh, I'm going to be selling merch at the show. <gasps> talking about trying to make I love money. Merch. Where is it? Oh, you got merch? I made a little badge. Oh. So cool. I made a little badge and I got this like weird bag outside. I'll show it to you. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> and uh, where are you on? I'm on a um, Pleasance Bunker Free, 6 pm. Mm. So you can definitely. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 You can, show. wait for this, you can invest time wow. in oh, each other's shows. Oh, no. <laughs> Genuinely, I do need pension advice, so if I can get that. Um, uh, here's a badge, I'll give that oh, to you. Thank you very much. Now I have Even to come and see your show. <laughs> so, oh. Oh, so- Zoot, yeah, I was trying to, but I did it and that one, yeah, I know. Hi, fabulous, <laughs> yep, it's going on there. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. It's going on the boob. On the boob, uh, fantastic. Oh, what's your show called? Oh, it's called Money Princess. Um, soup Money Princess. It'd be, yeah. Do you know what, next year I'm going to go Soup Princess. It just I, think, says, oh. yeah, I think Princess Everything. Yeah, I, it's I, great. I, yeah. Oh, it's great. Wonderful, thank you very much. Thank you. Princesses. Thank you. <laughs>